So go for it. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I got to give a backstory for this. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a mess. Uh, <laughs> um, I got this hoodie for Christmas. My wife got it for me. It was really nice. And I thought about not wearing it today because I was like, I know I'm going to go up and paint. I don't want to get any paint on it, and for some reason I thought I was going to, so I was like, I'll just take it off right before I do it. And then as I went up to paint, I just unzipped it, and I was like, nah, I'll be all right. And I did it anyway, and then the first paint that I opened up shot out on my shirt and dripped down on my shoe and got all over my fingers. <laughs> I was like, man, no, this is so messy. This is not cool. And I was like, and I just felt like the Lord was saying, just paint with what you got, like like just like with the, the, the tissue paper. You ever seen anybody paint with tissue paper? It looks cool. I, I've i never done it before, but this was fun. Um, and I felt like the Lord was saying like um, that this was for a person who um, has used the phrase like, like life is messy in the past, but like that there was, there's some seriously messy life in the past and that the Lord has kind of brought um, – brought color together to kind of form, um, this, all this kind of stuff is kind of coming together to form the vase that fire is breathing down into, the Holy Spirit is kind of opening up, and I felt like this is for the girl up here in the, with the nice flowers, um, that I just felt like he was saying that, like, um, that all this color, all this mess is kind of coming together to, uh, to build up the perfect uh, vessel to, that he wants us to fill everything, and it, and this thing, this thing isn't. I mean, maybe maybe we're all clay in the Lord's eyes, uh, and He molds like little clay vessels out of us. But this thing's clear. I just felt like this was very clear. Like whether He's brought it to you in the recent, or whether He's filling you with something new here now, or in the fu near future, something like that. that. There's something very clear and very colorful, and just amazing that He wants to do with your life, and He's just breathing fire on that. He's breathing truth into that, and uh, I just bless you to see that. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Um, can I follow up with what he just did? Okay, so go ahead and stand. Is it Alana, right? Okay, how many of you want God to make a, a beautiful, like, creation out of your mess? Stand up. <laughs> Let's just receive that right now because it, it's only God. Only God can do that. Uh, I have two kids, and he calls childbirth beautiful. That's weird. <laughs> Like, I don't understand. But so he looks at things differently than we do. Like, I would, you know, if it was up to me, I would just go buy a baby at the store and bring them home. Like, that's easy and simple and clean. But he says, no, this is beautiful and this is my design. So there are things in our life that weren't his design. I'm not saying everything in your life was his choice. But he can take things that are so messy and make them beautiful. So let's just open up our hands and let's agree with that right now. Father, we thank you for beauty from your perspective. God, we just let go of our standards of beauty. And we say yes to what you say is beautiful. Thank you, God. We just say yes to your beauty, God. And if it takes what looks like a mess to us to create beauty with our lives, we say yes to that. It's a scary yes. We do it tentatively, some of us, but we say yes. God, if there is something in our life that has to be messy in our eyes for you to create beauty, we say yes to that. And we thank you, Lord, especially for Alana today, God, that you would just let your anointing come over her life, that you would just formulate in her that clear vessel to carry your fire, that others can see it and be changed and be transformed. And so we just release that right now in Jesus' name. If you agree with that, you can say amen. Amen. That means so be it. And then we're just going to hear what Eric has to say. Yeah. Um, last week I had seen like an, an image of like a, a piano bar. Before I became a Christian, I used to go to this piano bar. And I just seen us like sitting around the fire and just enjoying Jesus, like singing songs, just a lot like what you were saying. And I just see this place like a watering hole, like just along with the painting, like I see like a vase there and just the, the water of God being poured out in this place. And like they said, like people like lost people that don't know Jesus just coming to this place in their brokenness and like God pouring out. Like I just feel like the weight of his glory is just going to come in this place like never before. 
And I just, like, as the pastors and the people here just begin to wait on the spirit, like, wait on the dove, there's, like, something new that's going to happen here this year, and it's going to be very powerful that I believe. And I just pray that, um, Lord, you just bring in the lost. I just pray that you pour out your spirit without measure in this place like you never have before. Let your glory, let your power come down. I pray that you would send us out to bring in the lost, Lord God. I just thank you that this place is a watering hole. I just decree and declare that this place is a watering hole, that the spirit move in this place in power like never before in Jesus' name. Yeah, yeah, another amen. <laughs> Thanks. That was good. And this morning, I was asking God about 2017 and what his word was for me for this year, and he said, enjoy. So why not? Let's just enjoy. So I just want to enjoy my life. I want to enjoy my girls. I want to enjoy my home. Sometimes I get caught up in like goals and sometimes that gap between what you want to see change in your life and where you're at in the moment, the, like the joy gets lost. And I just, I felt God saying that you can enjoy where you're at. You can enjoy planning towards a goal. You can enjoy the planning. You can enjoy the execution of that plan. You can enjoy everything. He doesn't limit us to just enjoying a goal accomplished. Isn't that good? I, I received that this morning. So, yeah. All right. So, welcome to Converge.